Alright, hey guys, what's up? Side tutorials, and today's tutorial is going to be about how to make pictures flash in Photoshop. I'm using CS4, but um, you can basically use any version you want. Um, this is requested by 123min8aj. Pretty sure that's right. Um, but yeah, you can check them out. I, I'll put um, a link in the sidebar. Okay, so yeah. But anyways, sorry, it's kind of late. He requested like a month ago. Oh wait, my bad. He requested like a month ago. Yeah. So yeah, sorry, it's kind of late. But yeah, if you have any other requests, please do not uh, hesitate to request it. I will do them. Sorry, but this one's kind of late. It's been pretty busy. So anyway, let's get started. So you got Photoshop here, and I'm using a picture of my dog. I'm just gonna crop it a bit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to file and let's see, wait for this to crop. Sorry if it's kind of laggy too. Um, it's also because I'm running a screen capturing software, Camtasia, and I'm you know using Photoshop, both high demanding programs, and I have Mozilla open and I have yeah Camtasia open. So to open a picture, just go to file and then open, and you can open an image. I already have mine open right here. I crop it to a nice size that I want. I'm gonna crop it a little bit smaller. Okay, it looks like he's like squinting. Anyways, so you got your image. Get your layers tablet open. That's very important. You need this. If you don't, if you don't see yours, just go to Window, Layers. Make sure it's checked or F7. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, on your layers, ta layers tablet, your background's gonna be like locked. Double click it, and the little window should pop up in a minute. It's gonna say rename layer zero. Click OK, and you now have a layer called layer zero, but it's no longer locked. So that's good. So what you want to do next is you want to make or basically duplicate the image. Um, or no, my bad, don't do it. Do a new adjustment layer. So click right here, hold tab right here, this little little half black, half white circle thing, and go to color balance. Now depending on what, all right, Photoshop has encountered a problem, needs to close, sorry for the inconvenience. I'm gonna minimize that because that's not my problem right now. All right. I'm gonna like let it go. Let me do. All right. So depending on what you have, if you have like CS3 or something or below, it's probably gonna pop in like a dialog box. But if you have um, CS4, it's gonna come up in like in your. It's gonna come up in its own like tab thing. So whatever you have, it still works the same. So you're gonna like basically just adjust the colors. To um, yeah. Sorry. Adjustments. Just the colors. Oops. All right. Now I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make the first. He wants to make picture like flash different color, so I'm gonna make the first one blue. Get flash blue. So we'll do that. It's blue right there. Once I got that, do another adjustment layer with another color balance. This is very simple to do. Just takes a little time. Now I'm gonna make this one flash red. Um, it doesn't show red because I got this one. Make sure you got the, this one like unchecked so it can show red. I got red now. Do the next one, uncheck this so it's back to your original picture. Do another adjustment layer. Go to color balance again and make it. I'm gonna make it green now. To the green. Some more greenish. It's good. Okay, it's good. Now make one more. Make it yellow or something. I guess. Make it yellow. That's okay, good. Um, that's good right there, I guess. It's orange, more of an orange color. Let's leave it at zero. Alright, both zero, and then we got yellow. Okay, so we got all these different colors now. Now what we're gonna do is see you have your yellow, you have your green, you have your red, and you have your blue. I'm gonna adjust the red a little bit. It's kind of too red for me right now. Adjust that to like move down the magenta a bit. That's better. All right. So once you got all these good, like all these layers fine and everything, you should have like it doesn't matter the amount of colors you have. You can do as much as you want. I'm just doing four for the process of teaching you guys. But yeah. Now what you're gonna do is you wanna have um, open up your animation tablet. Now depending on what version you have, it's gonna be different. But if you have CS3, CS4, uh, all you gotta do is go to Window and then Animation. If you have a lower ver version, like CS, I think you're probably gonna have to um switch into image ready so go ahead and do that so once you're in image ready or if you have your animation tablet your tab um, up click this tab right here 
it's gonna make a new frame and basically okay on the first let me just delete the actual one I just made the first one we're gonna want to make it the first color I have here make it blue make a new frame I'm gonna uncheck the I'm gonna uncheck the blue and then check it with the next color which is the red make a new frame uncheck the red check it with the color that's green make a new frame uncheck the green make it with a color that's um yellow and that's it play it through and you should have flashing colors on your image now I'm pretty sure that's what he meant by the question I you know re asked him it because I wasn't completely sure but he basically wanted to know how to make an image flash different colors so I'm showing you here that's basically it. like that's basically it you can just you can change the like time segment I guess if you want to make it a little slower you can make it slower currently it's a zero I'm gonna make it 2.2 .2 seconds delay now let's try that and if you play that through it's a little slower a little smoother so yeah that's kind of it I hope you, that helped you out now save it you go to file save for web and devices now watch this and just pay attention right here it's kind of important um you're going to save it as a gif file a gif dot gif because and only that because only that will make it an animation to put on a website or whatever you're putting it on but only that will make it like a moving changing color thing so just wait so it's kind of laggy again like i said um yeah get a second here i also have a brand new um blog type thing it's it's called a tumblr blog um or a tumble blog it's itutorials dot tumblr dot com it will be on my channel and it's also gonna be in the description check that out because every video i make now will be um automatically upload like uploaded to my tumblr and i'll also put like other types of blog posts if i have any crust I'll, I'll be like i'll make your video so and so on this day Sorry, I'm like with the slagginess. It's just gonna be a little slow for a second. But yeah, I'm, I'll talk about this. And um, also, if I like use any type of files that you might want when I'm doing a tutorial, that will be posted on the Tumble post for that video. And you can just go to that, go to the, my Tumblr, and then download the file that, so you can use it like I use in the tutorial. So if I use like a specific texture or something in a tutorial, you can download that and use it. Like, so that's pretty cool. I like I said I didn't really want to make it like a high tech type of website like Dreamweaver and all that because like I don't know I just kind of want something simple that I can just you know upload to and you know it'd be pretty easy so anyways back to this safer web devices now it's already done as a uh, one second here still being still loading up let's give it a second here but yeah like I said so that link will be in the description hopefully I'll get a domain soon but I don't know yet because iTutorials.com is currently taken, so I'm going to have to, like, think of something else. Maybe, like, iTuts or something like that. Alright, once you got this, I'm going to give you a little, like, drop-down menus here. Don't, like, play with them. Okay, just, like, leave them as is. And the one right here is, like, GIF, and it's going to just keep it on GIF. Don't change that. I mean, I guess if you want to play with settings, I guess, just, but don't play with settings. Just leave it as is. Then click Save. And, like I said, it's going to be kind of slow, but pop up and you basically just type in what you want it to be saved as and click the save button and you're done basically alright so I'm just gonna save it I'll just put flashing pick and then I'm gonna it's gonna be the gif don't change that leave it as gif you know we can't really yeah you can change the html leave it as gif click save and you're basically done here I'm gonna pause it and re come back when it's done Okay, so here's the pick. I just went to my documents and opened it up. Went to, you know, compete, and then I went to start, and then my documents, and then op open it up, or whatever you saved it as. Wherever you saved it to, that's basically where you will open it up from. It's like right clicked it and then opened it up with Windows Picture and Facts Viewer. And here it is. You can see it's flashing and awesome. So yeah, and it will be continued. It's in like an unending loop, and it'll continue to play like this. So yeah, that's how basically you do it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully, it helped you out. Um, one, two, three, four. Min AJ. Thank you for requesting this tutorial and feel free anyone else to request any other tutorials and talk to you guys later. See you guys.